Peace, boys. Mr. Yegan, pretty day in this existence, huh? Show us the guns, hippie. Ah, nah, the gun. And not just any gun. The gun, worth all your pennies. Got any smokes, man? Remarkable, isn't it? What? What does it do? Well, you know, it does. It does gun things. It shoots. But it's. You fooled us. Oh, hey, man! It's exactly what your government asked for. I mean, if things heat up there, it's good to have. You know. Look.
It's the time of the season When when love runs high In this time, give it to me easy And let me try with pleasured hands To take you in the sun to promised lands To show you everyone It's the time of the season for love What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? He rich. Is he rich like me? Has he taken any time? Any time to show to show you what you need to live? Tell it to me slowly. Tell you why? I really want to know. It's the time of the season for love. White Brook is said, Commander White Brook speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm watching it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, right away, sir. It's open. Admiral McCourtney, Commander Whitebrook. One could say it's been a remarkable week. In more ways than one. Yes. Seems like man's accomplishments in the crate aren't limited to a good. What do we know about this weapon? It's certainly advanced. Laboratory results speak a language I couldn't mimic, but you saw what it does. A weapon like this in the wrong hands would spawn endless terror to humanity. Fortunately, everything suggests this is a mere prototype, not in mass production. Yet. Precisely. We're afraid the manufacturer could be commissioned to arm the space race. The Red Army, and as much as I hate to say it, the Yanks, would be very much interested in having their frogmen fly in the ozone carrying one of these. And you know what that means. A man on the moon with a space gap. Extinction. 
to the human race. We have to stop it. We have to stop the manufacturer. Yes, fortunately our recently disappeared bald hippie friend Carl De Vries has provided us with a significant lead. It appears De Vries served in the Dutch Army Scientific Research Institute with one Dr. Willem Kruger. Ring any bells? Oh yes, I remember running a background check on Dr. Kruger a couple of years ago. I believe he offered to develop advanced weaponry for the Royal Army in exchange for the proper funding. We weren't interested, but that doesn't mean someone else didn't take him up on the offer. If our intel is correct, his factory is located deep in the heart of South Africa. South Africa? Hmm. That's a new destination for me. And unfortunately you won't have time for any vacation pleasantries, Commander. It's essential Kruger is eliminated before a single space gun ends on the market. And not only that, you must destroy everything. Every weapon, every plan and blueprint. This must remain always secret. History cannot know how close it was to ending. Yes sir. I cannot emphasize this enough, George. The world looks at you today. No pressure. This is too easy. Am I trespassing? My apologies. I hadn't realized.
Dr. Kruger, just your man I was looking for. Funny how things sometimes work themselves out. Isn't it, Commander Whitebrook? Yes, I know exactly who you are. The reputation of your face is rising, and my Soviet friends had a hunch you might show it one day soon. Appears you found yourself a buyer then. Oh, my little plaster project? Yes, yes. It's coming along nicely. Soon we'll have blue blood all over the atmosphere. What are you trying to achieve? Money? War? Achievements are interesting, Commander Whitebrook. What would you say your greatest is? Stopping that bloody Nazi uprising? Or not letting the Irish nuke Great Britain into extinction? You could argue for each, and neither would put you in the better box. I am not a fan of labels. Therefore, I am not a fan of achievements. A lesser man would be doing this for money or power. I, personally, I just like to watch the world burn. I mean no disrespect, but in the event nobody told you this yet, you're insane. I take it you're an educated man, Commander. Grab a dictionary and open it up at insane. And then genius. Eerily similar, no? Crazy or not, once the insides of this bag ends up in the right hands, you better become a betting man. Because I put it all on red. This bag? Are you implying every single weapon you've manufactured so far is inside this bag? What can I say? Perfection takes time. But once we got these prototypes distributed and the money is in the bank, we'll be expanding our factory lines remarkably. And then? And then, we have ourselves a new day's dawn. So, theoretically, if I destroyed this bag, I would shut down your entire operation? Theoretically, yes. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. But perhaps a secret agent? Good to know. Oh. My life's work ruined. Record it. Nice.
can't stop me, Whitebrook. This world is long overdue for remodeling, and I'm starting with you. You said you like to watch things burn, no? It rains in Africa. Like me, as he takes us 